Hi, welcome to Thunder Show and the hottest moments of the past week. In this episode, a dragon slayer, a tale about hesitation, a fight for the frozen throne, and a couple more surprises. Let's get started. Miss Calculation might have the most suitable nickname for this moment, because she destroys an enemy plane and then takes out a nearby helicopter using the same plane. All according to plan, right? Lord Jamilson is pretty frag savvy too. They manage to equalize air and ground by dropping some bombs from their snow white plane and destroying two ground and two air vehicles. This story shows us how you should believe in yourself. Sebastian Mika MR shoots a Sherman and misses. They hesitate for a moment, switch targets. This time it's an anti-air vehicle. Fire. And we have a hit. But where? Oh, right, that first Sherman. Sebastian tries to finish off that anti-air through the smoke and finally turns it into a fireball. Only they get a bonus for their persistence. The shot also takes out a random neighboring vehicle. They say there's a mountain in Ireland occupied by a mighty fire-breathing dragon. Well, it's almost true. Although it's more of a hill than a mountain, and it's inhabited by Dragon OPX. So easy to confuse. The rest is true, though. Once a Swedish SPAA took fancy to this hill, the number of hostiles around it plummeted. To be precise, it went down by 16 machines. Their flaming carcasses are now warning signs on the approaches to the kingdom of one very famous Swede. Behareth here is a tanker with even more ambition. They're claiming an entire snow-clad town. They push out their enemies from the streets straight into the hangar, at a large distance, when meeting them point blank, and even in twos. Of course, creating a dynasty is time-consuming, so they have to fight for their title alone all the way until the battle ends. But no one succeeded in shaking their throne amid the panel housing. 30 frags and a crushing victory. And now let's check Live War Thunder, where we can try to unlock one of the scariest secrets. Why Soviet vehicles sometimes feel immortal. It's all about their armor. We mean the armor scales composing a carapace. And an embroidered tablecloth? In any way, if you can hear a wooden squeak of a turret behind you, just run. One more thing. You asked us in the comments if you can send a new moment after sending one the week before. Of course! We can always feature it in another episode. Looking forward to your adventures. See you!